3.24. A boy standing on a stationary lift open from above throws the ball upwards with the maximum initial speed he can, equal to 49 meter per second. How much time does the ball take to return to his hands? If the lift starts moving up with a uniform speed of 5 meter per second, and the boy again throws the ball up with the maximum speed he can. How long does the ball take to return to his hand? Now, when the lift is stationary, initial speed with which the ball is thrown, that is 49 meter per second. When it reaches at the maximum height, final velocity will be zero. So V that is zero, acceleration that is gravitational acceleration, that is minus 9.8 meter per second square. Now, time to ascend, time taken by it to reach at maximum height. That is V equal to V0 plus 80. From that equation, we can write V that is 0, V0 49, A that is minus 9.8 into T. So here, if we make T as a subject, then we'll get T that is five second. Now, time to ascend, that is exactly equal to time to descend. So total time between the ball is thrown and again ball returned to the hands. That is five plus five, 10 second. And when lift is moving up with uniform speed, now see here, speed of the lift is uniform one, constant one, means acceleration that is zero. So when the frame of reference, that is with zero acceleration, then there will be no effect on the motion of the object which is inside it. So in case of the uniform motion of the lift, the time for the ball that will remain the same one. Clear to all of you?